What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Donnie Does It. Today, we are working on the 5BZ 3.4 liter out of my 2001 4Runner. What we're gonna be doing today is showing you guys how to install the Off-Road Solutions Rear Sump Oil Pan Conversion Kit in order for you to install this V6 engine into your late model straight axle Toyota. Stay tuned. For those of you that are not familiar with the build, ignore that. It's become a storage space for a few of the parts that are going in here, as well as my golf shoes. But I have a 1985 Toyota 4Runner that I'm putting a 3.4 liter V6 in out of a 2001 4Runner. This is said engine. As you can see, I've taken the oil pan off already. What we need to do is convert it to a rear sump style oil pan. The oil pan currently has a pickup on the front. The IFS or the independent front suspension traveled behind here. With the way this engine is going to be sitting in the vehicle now, it has a straight axle in the front. So we need to have all of that room and clearance up in the front. So we need to get this pickup to the back. Now what we also need to do is get this tip stick to the back. And there's two ways to do this. One is to go to your junkyard, try to scrounge around, find a two-wheel drive T100 that had this engine combination, this pan combination, rob all the parts off of it, pull the engine out, get everything out of there, and then try to hope that you can get that hole in the right spot to drill your dipstick. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that stuff. Off-Road Solutions, the company that we are partnering with on this build, provides an entire kit to get just this done. There's our rear sump oil pan. This is our rear oil pickup, new dipstick, new dipstick tube, everything that you need to get this job done, including a new plate to help you line up where the oil dipstick needs to go, tap, oil dipstick insert, threaded plug for the old dipstick to clear it out, I even include the sealer, the correct sealer to get the new oil pan gasket installed. So we're definitely gonna be going that route. Now, Off-Road Solutions is kind enough to send instructions with every single one of the parts that they ship out to help you guys get this stuff done. For those of you who are a little bit more of a visual learner like myself, I'm gonna be going through all these steps for you so you don't have to just watch me work and then follow along and do the same. That way you can get your truck looking just how we're gonna get my truck looking by the end of this video. Stay tuned. All right, so our very first step which I've already taken care of is to remove this oil pan. Obviously this engine is out of the truck, which makes this a lot easier. Hopefully your engine is also out of the truck before you start going down this road. What we're gonna do now is change the location of this dipstick. So we're gonna get the old one off, plug this hole, then we're gonna take our new dipstick drill guide. We're gonna get that mounted up to the engine so it's in the exact correct spot where we need it. So we can drill that new hole, put in our new adapter and get this thing going. All right, so we got the motor flip back over. Our order of operations is going to be to remove this dipstick, plug that hole, then we're going to make our way over to this side, remove this exhaust manifold and motor mount, put our plate on and get the guide ready, drill our new hole and get our new dipstick location. Good, but it's more of a. How, how, are you yeah, using a remote to start and stop it? Actually, nah, I just when I edit, I just cut out the beginning. How long will it? Got the old dipstick out. Gonna get this hole cleaned up. Get this plug put in it. So the off-road dipstick actually includes a pipe tap, as well as an MPT style plug, but also gives you the option to do this press fit. I checked it, and it seems like it's gonna be a pretty tight fit. So. 
I'll just put a little bit of RTV around the edges, get it pressed in that hole, and take the easy way out. So we used a 3 8 extension down to a quarter inch to a seven mil. Put it in this hole here and gave it a tap. See there, it's flush all the way to the bottom. And that should seal it up real nice. So it's time to drill our dipstick guide for our new dipstick tube. We gotta get this plate right in there. So we're gonna take off the exhaust manifold as well as the engine motor mount. So we can sneak it in there and get everything lined up. Absolutely. See, this is the difference. This is the one that has to pop off out. It's in the actual body, and it goes up. So what year is yours? Mine's an 03, I don't know. I, I know, I think. This, this, this is United 4.3 liter, and this is pop it. Whatever. Maybe even if I go. Ah, I pulled the stud out of one. I knew I would. Okay, I don't love the auto mode. Well, I've been reading up on it a long time, and I know this is probably not even a quarter of inch. So we got our plate installed here. Instructions say to put seven washers on the top bolt between the plate and the block. Bottom ones get one each. Tried to get my drill bit and drill into here but because of the angle it's going to be a little too tight so i will have to go get a 90 degree drill to make this hole which the instructions said i would all right got ourselves a 90 degree drill here thanks to my dad <laughs> so we will get this thing going It moved, I drilled in about a half an inch or more. So after trying a 90 degree drill and bit and combo, I'm gonna try this extension here. Do the takeout that manifold stud to get it to sit square on there, but that's probably our best bet in getting through this. You can see light. We're almost through. Our dipstick tube adapter I went ahead and put a little bit of RTV around that just to kind of keep it from squirting up and put the tube adapter in now this shield here is going to come off and then our new one's going to replace it testing out gutters fishing pole testing it out huh yeah and um I threw the I threw the line the, the line or I cashed it so where the new dipstick comes through on the bottom side of the block, it's right on the edge of the casting. So my dad and I took a little file, piled it down to get it nice and smooth in there. Nobody will ever see it, but we'll know that it was done. <laughs> Correctly. <laughs> Our next step is to go ahead and take off the oil pickup for the oil pump. Move that around to the back, and then we'll be putting on the boat pan. Bada bing, bada boom. Wait, is this like a Got a little bit of leftover gasket uh -oh. from the pickup. It's falling down in there. Trying to make sure we shit. get it without getting it in the motor. Every time you touch it, it just crumbles. Might need to get a set of needle nose.
All right, we got our reverse oil sump pickup, oil pickup sump, rear sump pickup oil. So shiny and clean. Let's put a pan on it. My dad made a good point. I was thinking about just go ahead and putting the pan on, but those back two bolts actually go through the rear main housing. As a small reminder, the dipstick itself actually feeds through this motor mount. So you want to be sure to do that all at the same time. So we got our new dipstick installed and mounted inside the motor mount. Went ahead and redid the rear main seal by suggestion of everyone. We have our new rear oil pump pickup. Just getting everything nice and cleaned up and pretty for our new off-road solutions, rear sump, oil pan to get installed. There it is, a rear sump oil pan, all installed. I ended up adding a gasket, directions call for just the fix in place, but I found a gasket, so I went ahead and put that on there. I think it looks nice. It's got a new rear main, new oil pan. It's time to flip this thing back over and get in the truck.